My name is Zach Ciotta. I'm the host of the HVAC Shop Talk podcast, and I received a tool from one of our sponsors, Navac. It's a brand new tool. This is actually their battery-powered expander, something that I thought was really, really cool, actually, when I first heard about it coming out. I'm glad to finally have it in my hands. I'm going to show it to you guys, give a little demo of how it works, and let's just take a look at it and see what it's all about. This is a Navac NTE 11L. In the case, we have a battery, some expander heads, the expander, and some oil. This oil you have to change every year. It is a hydraulic expander, so you do have to change that oil every year or every 6,000 expansions, I believe, but uh, at a minimum every year. It has everything from a 3 8 expander head all the way up to, in this particular case, an inch and one eighth expander head. I don't know if all the cases will come with the same kit as you see here. There are blank spots where you can have expander heads that are larger than the ones that are shown here. The battery is a 7.4 volt lithium ion 2.0 amp hour battery. The battery fits at the bottom of the tool. Like so. There's a little bit of a strap right here, so you can hold the tool while it's strapped to your wrist. A button in front to engage the tool. It will, once you press this button, it starts and then at the end, it lets the pressure off. The tool with the battery, but no expansion head, weighs three pounds, 6.4 ounces, or 1,542 grams. From top to bottom, the tool with the battery is about nine and a half inches tall, about two and a half inches wide at the widest point. And from the back of the tool to the tip of one of the expander heads once installed, it is about eight and three quarter inches. I have a piece of this 3 8 copper. I'm going to cut it off. We're going to use our copper cutter to kind of ream it out and clean it out a little bit and get it ready for expansion. Then we're going to see how long it takes to expand the copper and how the copper fits together once the expansion is done. It should be noted that the interior diameter of this copper after I reamed it out is 6.74 millimeters. The outside diameter is 9.41 millimeters. The battery is fully charged on the expander. Once I press this button, it is supposed to take 12 seconds or so. That's what they said on the box. That could be the smallest fitting, which is what this is. So I'm gonna hit the button and see if it's about 12 seconds. That was much faster right there. A little bit of grease popping out there. Here is the end of the copper. One of the things that can happen on the 3 8 is that expanders can split the piping. It hasn't split the piping. It looks like it's expanded within about uh, the limit for not splitting the piping. So it's right below that. You can see it, there's some stressed looking areas on there, but it's not split in any location. The interior diameter of the pipe is 9.68 millimeters. If I rotate it 90 degrees, it's 9.57. And another 90 degrees again should be back around and 9.69. So pretty close to a perfect circle. Again, you can see on the very end the sort of pattern that the expander creates. Let's now compare with an actual elbow, that's 3 8 to see what the inside diameter of this elbow is. The inside diameter of the elbow is 9.55, which is very close to what the expander made. The expander was a little bit larger in one orientation and right about the same at the other orientation. Width of the copper in this factory made elbow at the bell end is 0.94 millimeters. The width of the expanded copper at the bell end is 0.89, which is just slightly less than the factory. The copper seems to fit together tightly, not very loose, just a slight amount of play in the copper. So pretty satisfactory, I think. 
trying the factory elbow now. Slightly less play maybe, pretty similar actually. So I think that's a successful crimp. Just FYI, this is for use with soft or annealed copper only. You can anneal hard copper and then use this device. Tubing should be reamed and deburred before expanding. Operation may be stopped at any point by pressing the action button during the cycle. Reset the tool any point by pressing the directional button forward. You can see that there is a you can see that there is a button here that will manually release the pressure in the device. It is supposed to release it automatically after your expansion, but in case it doesn't, there is a manual release as well. You can always tell the battery life by hitting the light button at the end of the tool. Again, this is the NTE11L. This tool will be available at truetechtools.com. You can search for it there. If you want to use our discount code, which is Shop Talk, you can save 8% on most of the items at True Tech Tools by using that code. There's a few exclusions, but for the most part, you can use our code to save 8% on pretty much anything there. Seems like a pretty cool device. Let me know what you think in the comments. Will you buy this? Will you upgrade a hydraulic expander that's not battery powered or even your punch swages or whatever you're using now. Let me know in the comments what you're using now and why you would or would not switch to the Navac battery powered expander. Seems pretty cool. Let me know what you think. If there's anything else guys that you want to know about this device or any other device that's coming out on the market, let me know. I can reach out and try to get one to go through with you guys. Sometimes the sponsors send their new stuff out. In fact, most of the time the sponsors are pretty good about that. But in case it's something else, a different manufacturer, something you want to know more about, uh, let me know so I can investigate and try to figure out whether it's going to be a good buy for you or not a good buy, or maybe just not a good buy for you in particular. Maybe it's good for somebody else, but not for you. You never know. Uh, this seems like a pretty cool tool. I think a lot of people would benefit greatly from this. The fact that you don't have to sit there and either crank it or hit it with a hammer or whatever, whatever level of swaging you're at. I think this is definitely an upgrade. And uh, you guys let me know what you think about it. Uh, my name is Zach Ciotta. This is HVAC Shop Talk Podcast. Listen to the podcast. Comes out several times a week. Watch every video. Like every video. Subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.